Welcome back, you beautiful people, and guess where we are? Whistler. Yes. If you've ever been here, you'll recognise this view. You've probably been here and take a selfie like we just have. We just have done that. Yeah, and today, Blake, we're riding downhill bikes. We are. It's the first time I've ridden one in a long time. Very exciting. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, good to see you on a downhill bike again. I'm loving it. But you know what? Down at the bottom of the lifts, it's sort of a mix. There's Ooh. a lot of trail and enduro bikes down there. Yeah, Not as many downhill bikes as it used to yeah, be. Yeah, like nearly 70, 30 to enduro to downhill. But what's better? Ooh, Neil, that's an argument that we're going to have to settle right now, today. Which is better, downhill bike or enduro bike? I'm riding my new proof descent, brand spanking new, uh, beautiful looking bikes. The bike that Sam Hill actually won Garbonzo. Mm. This is very spot on last year. Yeah. 27.5 wheels. What are you riding, Blake? I am riding my Canyon Sender in this nice salmon color. 27.5 as well, straight out the box. I've upgraded from my Black Beauty to this one. Two freshies. Mm -hmm. Oh, can't wait to ride, come on. My Canyon Strive has got 29 inch wheels and 150 mil of travel. This is the bike that I spend most of my time on at home and I also race the Andes Pacifico on it. Blake's bike is the Newt Proof Mega, 27.5 wheels with 165 mil travel. Blake also raced the Andes Pacifico on this bike and rides it at home all the time in the bike park. My Newt Proof Descent downhill bike has got 190 mil travel and runs 27.5 inch wheels. Blake's Canyon Sender has got the full 200 mil of travel on the back and also running 27.5 wheels. And they're both weighing a lot more than the enduro bikes. The great thing about downhill bikes is they got long travel, so they're able to take those big hits. Also, they're long, so they're stable at high speeds and much more forgiving. The slack head angle also makes them really good for steep trails, but really they're just not as nimble as an enduro bikes. Definitely harder when it gets flatter. They don't pedal as well, just down to the weight and that extra rolling resistance of those big downhill tires. Downhill bikes are great at going downhill, but they're just not as versatile as an enduro bikes and you need an uplift. Enduro bikes are lighter, they're easier to throw around, and they pedal really well on trails and on downhill sections. You really notice how versatile and efficient enduro bikes are when it comes to pump tracks and flow trails, because you can really work the bike hard and get moving forward where you just don't get that same effect on a downhill bike. The great thing about enduro bikes is you can also explore different parts of the bike park. If you need to pedal up a big hill, well then you can do it without too much effort. However, they are shorter travel, so definitely less forgiving, and that can be more fatiguing on long days. Less stable at high speeds, and they don't quite take the big hits like the downhill bike. Neil, do you know what? On a rainy day like this, the weather has come in, and day in and day out riding lots and lots of trails. Yep. You know, I feel more comfortable on a downhill bike. You know what? What is this, day five maybe? Day five, riding? Yeah. My arms feel like they're jiggling yeah. in the bumps. They feel a bit tired. And yeah, actually, this is the same track I raced Garbanzo on my enduro bike. Yeah. And that was good. But actually, it's nice to be, like I said, a little bit tired. Yeah. If you've got the gravity behind you, a downhill bike just feels wicked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff over on Creekside where it's a bit flatter and we were really pumping the bikes. Enduro bikes felt the wicked. The enduro bikes felt so good. Like, these are just hard work. These are just tanks. But. The rest of it, I'm loving it. Oh. Kind of a bit of novelty because I've not ridden a down bike for so long, but yeah. actually really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I, I, the tighter I get, the more and more the, the plusher my suspension gets. Yeah, <laughs> 200 mil of travel. Stuff. It's yeah. feeling good at this very yeah. moment. I start to soften up things. All right, we're in some nasty, wetty, rooty, rocky, yeah. and there's a slab coming up and it's wet. Cool. Are you ready? Cool. <laughs> Right. 
I felt better on the enduro bike. Cougar, it's a rad trail, isn't it? Super good, super tight, loads of like nice banked turns. But I reckon I prefer my enduro bike here. Yeah. Just throw it around that mm -hmm. bit easier. Lighter, quicker, nimble, and you can pedal it. This yeah. is like a tank coming through here. And it's not that steep. No. So you need to carry your speed through these turns. Which bike do you think's better when you've had a big night out the night before? Downhill bike. Yeah. And soften it all up. It just goes to show that one bike isn't always perfect for everything. It really does depend on the trail. A downhill bike will be ideal for steep, techy, rough trails, as well as big jumps to absorb the big impacts. An enduro bike will be better for smooth flowing trails and pedally trails, as well as tight, techy stuff. Whistler is an awesome bike part for a downhill bike, as there's virtually no pedaling uphill, and there's only a little on the trails. But there are plenty of other parts of Whistler that you just can't explore as easily with a downhill bike. That's where the enduro bike is better. The enduro bike is more versatile, more a jack of all trades, where the downhill bike is a purpose-built tool. Whereas some bike parks, a downhill bike may not be necessary and overkill. So it all depends on where and what you're riding. Well, I reckon I'm sold on the downhill bike in the bike park. Well, it has what? come. To, it has come to uh, we both on a downhill bike at the end. Especially with I <laughs> yeah. love it. So it, it is. is. It is. But you are limited. If you if you had enough of the park and you really want to go out and explore other avenues, like there's other trails in the valley. Yeah, true. Like the, you could, you know, one bike does all. That is very true. So, mm. do I, I don't know. But I think downhill bike in the park, for sure. Yeah. Uh, more laps, do you reckon? Uh, yes, Still yeah. lunch, some more laps? 100%. If you want to see me race Garbanzo downhill on my Canyon Strive Enduro bike, over there for that one. Yeah, and if you want to see what else is outside of the bike park, like Dark Crystal, click yeah. over here for that epic ride. Don't forget to hit the globe, subscribe, because you're missing out on some rad stuff. Yeah. And we will see you beautiful people later on. Neil? Yes? I will follow you all the way to our favourite eatery. Yeah. Do you know where that is? Moguls. Like, yes, obviously.